Andy, when I arrived in Australia and started reading and hearing all those great things about you, I thought you were dead. <laughs> it's funny how the media who once labeled you a born in Boris Scott now regard you as one of the greatest British athletes of all time. The problem is that tennis is not about the game or the players anymore. It's about business and politics. Well, you know what they say about politicians. They're like diapers. You have to change them a lot, especially when they're full of Now, the end is near. Show your face, your final open. I see your tears. And in your words, I can feel your pain. Four grand slams and four different rules to conclude the fifth set. Hello? Isn't there a federation here who's supposed to harmonize these type of things? Oh yeah, you couldn't do it. You're too busy selling out the Davis Cup. More than ever. Will class act Rod Laver teach this brat pack a lesson or two? Will Margaret Court perform an exorcism on all of them? Will John Newcomb finally shave his mustache? All this and more next week on Thunder Down Under. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to honor the memory of our longtime friend, the Davis Cup, gone too soon at the fairly young age of 119. It's so sad. She was not without her flaws, but she was all about her passion, pride, and fighting spirit. We all knew her. Each of us had the chance to hold her in our arms. I can't do this. Guys, guys, the Davis Cup is not really dead. It's just evolving. The Davis Cup as we know it is dead. Stefanos fancies himself to be a bit of a philosopher, which I guess is quite normal when you're born in the land of Plato and Socrates. I saw this on his Twitter account. Shoot for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. <laughs> Cute, Stefanos. I saw that in my daughter's bedroom when she was 12. Knock, knock, knocking on Davis' door. Knock, knock, knocking on Davis' door. Thank you, guys, and good night.